Welcome to the channel. Today, we're not talking about your typical rusty tractor. No, no, no. Today, we're diving headfirst into the world of modern agricultural machines that are so advanced, so bleeding edge, they'd make Elon Musk soil himself. These aren't your granddad's tractors, mate. These are machines that are revolutionizing the way we farm, making the whole bloody process more efficient and about a thousand times more interesting. We're talking lasers, robots, and enough horsepower to pull a small country. So, Buckle up, grab a pint, or whatever beverage tickles your fancy, and get ready to be amazed by the sheer ingenuity of these incredible machines. Let's get this show on the road! Now some of you might be thinking, what's so exciting about weed control? Well have I got news for you. This isn't your granddad out there with a hoe and a bad back. This my friends, is the Envo Dan E-Therm, and it's here to incinerate weeds with the fury of a thousand suns. Forget your herbicides and pesticides. This beast uses a gas burner to obliterate those pesky weeds. And the best part, it's so damn efficient it'll save you a fortune on gas. We're talking 40% less fuel which means more money in your pocket to spend on, well, whatever you bloody well please. This thing is massive, with a gas tank the size of a small car mounted on the front, and at the back, oh, just a multi-nozzled arc of fire-breathing doom, ready to turn those weeds into ashes. They say it's designed for large farms and municipal fields, but honestly I reckon it could handle a small rainforest if you gave it enough time. Each machine is custom built you see tailored to the needs of the customer, so if you've got a weed problem the size of Belgium, these lads can sort you out. Just imagine the satisfaction of watching those weeds shrivel and disappear in a puff of smoke. It's like therapy, but with more fire. And who needs therapy when you can have a flame-throwing tractor, eh? Right, let's talk fruit. Specifically how to get that fruit from the tree and into your belly, or, you know, a supermarket shelf, as quickly and efficiently as possible. And that, my friends, is where the Tarpaulin Expand R5090 comes in. This isn't your average fruit picker, oh no, this is a specialized trailer with a retractable tarpaulin roll that's longer than a queue for a decent pint on a Friday night. Fruit falls onto this massive tarp, gets sorted faster than a deck of cards in a hurricane, and then gets cleaned of all the leaves and twigs by a bunch of industrial strength fans. Now here's the kicker, this whole operation can be run by just two people. That's right, two people can handle up to 300 kilograms of fruit in one go. It's like having a team of trained monkeys, but without the mess and the constant threat of banana-related violence. Of course, you'll need a tractor to pull this beast, and not just any old tractor, mind you. We're talking at least 40 horsepower, something with a bit of grunt, but trust me, it's worth it. This thing is an absolute game-changer for fruit farmers. Apples, pears, peaches, you name it. The Expand R5090 will have those trees stripped bare faster than you can say apple crumble. And who doesn't love a good apple crumble, eh? Now what do you do with all that leftover hay, straw, and, dare I say it, manure? Well, you could compost it, I suppose. Or you could unleash the Tub Grinder Piranha, a machine that eats waste for breakfast and spits out beautifully uniform mulch. This thing is an absolute beast with a set of teeth that would make a great white shark jealous. It doesn't discriminate either. Hay, straw, even the driest of manure, it devours it all, turning it into a fine, usable material. And the best part? You can adjust the size of the mulch with a set of interchangeable sieves. So, whether you need something fine and delicate for your prize-winning roses or something a bit more rugged for your vegetable patch, the Tub Grinder Piranha has got you covered. It's got a smart no-stress module which sounds like something you'd find in a yoga studio, but it's actually a computer that controls the feeding of the straw into the millstones. No more jams, no more fuss, just smooth, efficient grinding. And when you're done, just tilt that bad boy up with the hydraulic drive and hose it down. It's as easy as that. The Tub Grinder Piranha, it's the ultimate solution for your farm waste needs. Sabi Agri Xylus, the electric wine whisperer. Now I know what you're thinking, vineyards and electric vehicles, it's like putting a vegan in a steakhouse. But trust me on this one, the Sabi Agri Xylus is about to change the way you think about vineyard work. This isn't some glorified golf cart we're talking about. This is a fully electric, all-terrain vehicle that's tougher than a bouncer at a biker bar. It's got two electric motors, articulated tracks that could climb a mountain, and enough battery power to keep going for 10 hours straight. And when it does finally need a top-up, it only takes two hours to fully recharge. That's quicker than it takes me to finish a Sunday roast. And speaking of speed, this thing is slow, painfully slow. But that's a good thing you see, especially when you're navigating the delicate rows of a vineyard. It's got two control options. You can either drive it from the cab like a normal vehicle, or you can use the fancy tablet that comes with it. 
It's like something out of Star Trek, only instead of firing photon torpedoes, you're pruning vines. The Xylus is also incredibly adaptable. It comes in six different sizes, so whether your vineyard is flat as a pancake or steeper than a politician's promises, there's a Xylus to fit. It's the future of vineyard management, and it's electric. John Deere, CP 770 Cotton Picker, the king of cotton. Ah, John Deere, a name synonymous with farming since, well, probably before your great-great-granddad was knee-high to a grasshopper. And their latest creation, the CP770 Cotton Picker, is nothing short of a masterpiece. This thing is a monster, capable of gobbling up cotton faster than a politician can break a promise. It operates at a steady 7.4 kilometers per hour, which might not sound like much, but trust me, when you're dealing with a machine this size, it's like a bat out of hell. But it's not just about speed. Oh no, the CP770 packs those cotton bales tighter than a pair of skinny jeans after a Christmas dinner, which means you can fit more cotton in each load, reducing your costs and making you more money. And let's not forget about the engine. This thing has been designed with efficiency in mind. It's got an improved ventilation system with adjustable blades that reduce fuel consumption, meaning you can work longer and harder without having to stop for a refill. And if you do need to get under the hood, fear not, because John Deere has made this thing surprisingly easy to maintain. All the major components are easily accessible, so even a mechanic with sausage fingers like mine can handle it. The John Deere CP770 Cotton Pick it's the king of cotton and it's here to stay. Voltiodora VC2500, the compost whisperer. Now, this next one might look a bit odd. In fact, you might even mistake it for some kind of bizarre torture device. But fear not, the Voltiodora VC2500 isn't here to inflict pain, it's here to turn your compost into a gardener's dream. This thing is essentially a giant motorized sieve. It sucks up hard, compacted soil and compost, then spits it out the other end as a beautifully aerated, fluffy mixture that's perfect for planting. And when I say it sucks up soil, I mean it. This thing can handle between 500 and 1,000 cubic meters of material per hour. That's enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in a day. Of course, you'll need a tractor to pull it, and not just any old tractor, mind you. We're talking at least 60 horsepower with a reduction gear. But trust me, once you see this thing in action, you'll be hooked. It's got two auxiliary wheels for easy towing and the body is made from super strong molded steel plates, so it's built to last. The Volteadora VC2500, it's the ultimate tool for anyone serious about their compost. Mary Pete, MJK350 DTG, the peat eating monster truck. Now for our final act, we've got something truly special. This my friends is the Mary Pete MJK350 DTG, a machine so rugged, so unstoppable, it makes a tank look like a Tonka toy. This thing is designed for one purpose and one purpose only, to clear land for peat production. And trust me, it doesn't mess about. It's got a massive hydraulic roller that crushes peat like it's going out of fashion. But that's not all. This beast can also handle trees, stumps, you name it. It'll rip them out of the ground like a toddler with a temper tantrum and spit them out the other end as finely ground mulch. And don't even get me started on the safety features, this thing has got a POC 3000 safety clutch that protects the transmission from damage even if you hit a boulder the size of a small car. The roller shaft can reach a mind-boggling 1000 RPM, which is faster than a hamster on a wheel after a triple espresso. The Mary Pete MJK 350 DTG, it's the ultimate peat-eating monster truck, and it's a sight to behold. Well, there you have it folks. A glimpse into the future of farming, where machines are smarter, faster, and more efficient than ever before. From weed incinerating behemoths to compost whispering contraptions, these machines are changing the game. So next time you're tucking into a juicy piece of fruit or admiring a perfectly manicured lawn, take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering that made it all possible. And who knows, maybe one day, we'll all be driving around in electric vineyard vehicles sipping wine and watching robots do all the hard work. If you enjoyed this whirlwind tour of agricultural awesomeness, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content, and let us know in the comments which machine impressed you the most. Until next time, cheers.